The national hockey team head coach Jacqueline Mwangi says her players are related to take part in the 2022 Birmingham Commonwealth Games which get underway tomorrow in Birmingham United Kingdom. Kenya was slotted to take part in the games through the relocation of returned qualifications lost from the teams who opted not to take part in the event. Our reporter Isaac Namoka who is in Birmingham has the details. Kenya national hockey team head coach Jacqueline Mwangi has welcomed the receiving of the reallocated place to Kenya to participate in this year's 22nd edition of the Commonwealth Games in Birmingham, UK, that is set for tomorrow, the 28th of July to 8th of next month. Speaking after her charges intensified their training at the University of Birmingham yesterday, Mwangi said it is a great opportunity for the girls to experience the best in the world, even as she is the inclusion of young blood playing with the senior players. To me fry sana kama wachezaji na coaching committee hapa kuja kuwa na team tutajitahidi tutafanya vilivyo ku make sure that tumekuja home na kitu at least our pride at the end of the day. So, na shukuru sana kwa hii opportunity. Tume pati ya wasichana wetu. Asante ni. Coach Jacqueline Mwangi has included 19-year-old Odhiambo Nicole in her team that will be up against defending champions New Zealand, runners-up Australia and Ghana in a move that seems to give the young tucks a chance to prove their brilliance on the international platform. I think it's a good blend. I think there's a, a good blend between the more mature players and the young players. And uh, we want growth uh, in hockey. And... Uh, and this is what we have. And I think they, they're excited to be here. They want to show that they can do their best. And uh, yeah, that's what we expect. And that's what they expect of themselves as well. Okay. New Zealand, we have New Zealand, uh, so, uh, Australia, uh, Scotland, and, and South Africa. Uh, good teams, but we're also a good team. We've come here to show that we can play hockey and that we can play in the highest level. So we'll do our best. The our people at home must know that we've come to do our best and we'll try to touch Tolea. Kenya, who will take on New Zealand on their first match of the Commonwealth campaign on the 29th of August, had a chance for the second time yesterday to have a feel of the field they intend to continue with their eagerness of winning a medal at the Commonwealth Games when they played against African giants Ghana at the University of Birmingham yesterday in a friendly match. I think everything is okay. Uh, so far we've done uh, two sessions here and the friendly match today and uh, it's a good opportunity because we've gotten to test the pitch before the matches coming and I think we are prepared from the friendly now we know what we are up to and uh, we're going to focus now more and uh, see how we can improve on our undoings today. Nafisa Omaru scored twice in the first half for Ghana before Grace Nabuire scored a consolation goal for Kenya with coach Jacqueline exuding confidence that the team will perform exemplary well during the games even as she loaded her charges for exhibiting bravery before their first game on the 29th against New Zealand. <laughs> The Kenyan ladies will be representing the country at the Games for the first time when the women's hockey kicks off from July 29th before the finals are staged on the 7th of August. Kenya has her eyes set on winning medals in several disciplines at the Games, including athletics, boxing, hockey, swimming, rugby, para sports, among other disciplines. Reporting from Birmingham, UK, my name is Isaac Lemoka.